Welcome everyone to a brand new edition of Did You See That? I'm Mike. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button so I can see you again next time because I'd love you to join me on this journey. And in today's review, we're talking about the sequel to the 2016 smash it Don't Breathe, Don't Breathe 2. Now, back in 2016, I remember watching the original Dawn Brave, and I thought, wow, this was a breath of fresh air. I really loved the take and kind of the element that I'd added into the horror genre. Yes, it may have not been 100% original, but it certainly had enough uniqueness and a bit more originality to it that's kind of stayed in a lot of mind of horror fans. And it really had a great impact in terms of what this story could be or this concept we've seen maybe hundreds of times but the element of Stephen Lang playing the blind man. When it was announced that Don't Breathe 2 was coming out, well, I mean, what direction are they going to go in? Because normally if a movie in general in Hollywood gets past number one, they make it into a trilogy. So I wasn't really the most excited going into Don't Breathe 2. However, one thing that I do admire about this sequel, and if I've pronounced this correctly, the director of this one is the returning director from the first one, Erodo Sia. Wes. Essentially, the movie itself, though, is returning with Stephen Lang as the blind man. We've also got Madeline Grace this time, who plays Phoenix. And we've also got Brendan Sexton III as Raylan. The plot of the movie is Stephen Lang, who plays the blind man, has got to use his military and survival skills to essentially save an orphan from this big gang of thugs. I like originally how this movie kind of took a step in a different direction and tried to approach this film at a different hindsight. It wasn't just kind of like a rinse, repeat. Let me just get straight to my positive. So firstly, Stephen Lang as the blind man. He is awesome in this role. And really as kind of like a horror figurehead himself. He's kind of just a basic generic guy you could kind of root for. In terms of he served his time in the military. Or he served his time in the Navy SEALs. Although he is blind, you could kind of root for him. Because at the end of the day, you know, life is hard for him probably in general. Never mind having to deal with robbers or in this one like a gang of thugs. You know, at the end of the day, the guy just kind of wants to live his life. In this movie, he kind of has a stepdaughter who's played by Madeline Grace as Phoenix and their relationship between those two is great. I actually really like the chemistry between them and you could also kind of root for that oh wow he's finally got this daughter what's he going to be like as kind of like a father figure especially given some of the events of the first movie and I'd say for the most part the father figure element it was pretty well. You, again you could kind of get behind him and be like wow this guy all he wanted was a daughter as such yeah he went to methodical ways about it in the first movie but in this one actually it's more grounded it's kind of more realistic and it's interesting as to how he kind of gets this girl as his daughter one thing that i really really enjoyed was the violence element in this movie there's definitely some really cool kills now there's definitely one kill in particular that i thoroughly enjoyed I, I like that in this movie they actually did provide some twists and turns so there were some elements in here i'm expecting it to kind of go in this kind of way but actually changed the kind of rotation of the way it was gonna go where the story itself i was like wow a shit i did not expect them to go in this direction so let's just get on to my negatives of the movie which some of them do outweigh the positive support and character of madeline grace as phoenix now for some of the movie where she's kind of you know a part of Stephen Lang's life. To kind of pay off for her character, I wasn't bothered by it. I was like, you know, you could see it were coming from a mile off what was going to happen. Throughout all this time, what was kind of the overall goal of kind of progressing Stephen Lang's character if this is going to be the payoff. Again, there is a twist and turn in the middle of the plot that kind of does make it interesting because at one point, you're kind of rooting for our character Stephen Lang the blind man, but then there's a twist where you'd be like, wow, yeah, I definitely do not root for him. And this movie certainly toys with those emotions. Now, that is certainly a cool thing. Like I like that part. However, the issue is, though, with Brendan Sexton III and his kind of gang of thugs and stuff, I didn't like them. I, I, I wasn't bothered by them, the performances overall. It just wasn't really interesting. It wasn't as if he was like a great villain. They're kind of just throwaway disposable gangsters, which, to be honest, this film should have been just titled Don't Breathe again or something and if they ever make a third one stop breathing they certainly make some choices in this movie where you can kind of predict what is going to happen but also one of my kind of biggest gripes is this has got the highest age rating here in the uk of 18 where it means kind of like a really like a lot of blood guts and gore and stuff like that there was probably more gore in the suicide squad than don't breathe which is an actual horror 
and <laughs> explain to me how that works. But actually, there's one kill that really kind of personal towards Stephen Lang's character. Now, if that was me, and I was in that horror movie doing that same thing, I would be going all out batshit crazy on my kill on that person who did this despicable thing. Yeah, I just felt like as if it was too soft for what they did. Yeah. So overall, uh, Don't Breathe, definitely a decent enough sequel. I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it was enjoyable. Would I rewatch it again? Yeah. If I was to kind of do like a marathon in terms of like watching the first one and then the second one, yeah, I would certainly rewatch it again. My score for Don't Breathe, number two. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review and enjoyed my thoughts on Don't Breathe too. But have you seen the movie yourself? If you have, drop your comments and thoughts below and let me know what you thought of the movie. Please feel free to hit the like button and that subscribe button as well. But until that next time that you see me, I'll be seeing you later. <laughs>